Hi everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I'm Mark, a former scuba diving instructor, doing my very best to answer your scuba diving questions. Uh, if you have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video or any of our videos on YouTube. Um, but more specifically, if you use this Ask Mark hashtag in your comment, it gets yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. Um, but in the meantime, I do type out an answer in the comment section as soon as I see it. Uh, so you do actually get an answer as soon as possible. Uh, and you don't have to wait for the video to come out uh, but I do spend a bit more time elaborating in the video itself. Today I'm answering a question from Duda uh, about under gloves. So Duda says, thanks for the information about the seal dry suit. There is a lot of information about dry gloves, but little information about under gloves for chilly water diving. So I'm interested in your opinion about more DIY other than scuba diving manufacturers under glove solutions. Winter wool running gloves. Thanks again. Yes, I have a bunch of gloves that I use underneath my dry gloves and there are plenty available on the market it doesn't it doesn't strictly need to be a scuba specific gloves um, sometimes it helps but most of them are made from natural wool or synthetic fibers but the only thing that you may notice is that they often have shorter cuffs so that they don't interfere with your seals but some divers actually prefer longer cuffs so that it does interfere with the seals and it allows you to equalize the uh, the glove so it's swings and roundabouts and it's it's kind of divers choice and so you can also layer them up as well i tend to use the ones from qb uh, i have two that I don't actually know the names of it, the blue and the black. Um, they also have some extra ones, which are like natural fibers. They have Icelandic wool, which is quite good because it's naturally water, water, water repellent. That's surprisingly hard to say for me this early in the morning. Um, but they're, they're relatively warm compared to their like thickness um, because I, I, I tried them on and even just like sitting there talking with the rep uh your hands are getting noticeably warm so quite quite um uh, efficient synthetic ones i also have some fleece some gray fleece ones that are my like emergency backup they're always in my uh, my dry suit kit bag just in case uh, like a glove floods for whatever reason and i have to do another dive uh, i've always got those as well um or if I lose a glove because they do go missing from time to time, um, it, it's always good to have like, backups and yeah, just have some extra spares knocking around. I have seen divers use uh, neoprene gloves, like wet gloves, just in case you do get a, a flood. At least then your hands are a little bit warm because on uh, on one dive up in the uh, the Arctic Circle, um, one of my dry gloves leaked and. And it starts off and you're like, why is, why is my little finger like really cold? And uh, after the dive, after my entire hand was just numb, uh, I was like, oh, okay, the, the water had found its way in. And yeah, the, the whole hand is just numb and it takes a while to, uh, to get that back up and running. But yeah, it doesn't have to be scuba specific. With scuba specific gloves, they're typically tested to work when they're wet as well. But even in the coldest water, yeah, your hands are gonna get cold. Um, so that's where like neoprene glove liners, I've seen people use the uh, the fourth element G1, I think it's called. It's just like a one mil uh, like neoprene glove. It's made to be worn underneath wet gloves, but it's nice and thin that you can wear it underneath dry gloves. But you still have that dexterity and if it does flood, it's neoprene. So neoprene is pretty good at keeping you warm, even when wet. Uh, so that's quite a good option. And yeah, there's two trains of thought, whether you have a short cuff on the like internal glove so that your cuff seal does still seal around your, your wrist, but because that's a, now a sealed airspace, it's gonna like, be subject to squeeze so you do need something to uh, to alleviate that i tend to use either a section of um, uh, a five mil like paracord or most dry glove systems come with like silicone tubes and uh, and that just like tucks underneath the cuff seal other divers prefer to put their under glove 
underneath their cuff seal as well. So that allows for air transfer from inside of your dry suit to the glove. You just kind of put your hand up and it uh, alleviates that. However, if it does flood, it's much more susceptible that more water is going to go up your sleeve. So it's that catch 22 on how much you trust those uh, those cuff seals. I did see that seal dry suit uh, the other weekend at the Go Diving Show. Very snazzy suit. Um, they have just like released it as such. It's It's had like a I don't know what you call it, like a, a soft release where it was like it's out there. Um, they've given it to a few divers out there to, to test out it. I think it even was available where you could buy one through their website, but there was very little information about it. Now they've really boosted that information. So if you go to their, uh, their website, I think it's sealdrysuits.com. EU. Uh, I'll find it and I'll, I'll put it down here for you. Um, so yeah, now there's a lot more information about it and you can definitely buy one. One cool thing, well actually there, there's a few cool things about it, is that first of all it's made to measure only, so you get the perfect size and when you're typing in the, the measurements it shows you pictures and it's got descriptions on how to measure and where to measure so that you make sure you don't get this weirdly tailored suit but it does actually fit you um it has two hooks on the backs of the shoulders which i originally thought were just for like the um uh the the demonstration model because it was on a mannequin i figured it was to like i don't know put guy lines on it to, to stop it from falling over no it's to actually hook it up so that the zipper doesn't bend and break um you you have these two little hooks to, to hook it up and uh, and drip dry which i thought was pretty clever uh the zipper you like higher up locations so it's a bit easier to get into and you don't require quite as much telescopic um sections but uh, yeah new new suit um and that had the um the Cytec oval cuff on it i think that was just a demonstration one uh, you might get a choice um it's been a while since i looked at the uh, the website what choices you actually get but they work with uh my dry glove system which is the uh, the waterproof ultima um and I, I was talking with the chat with x deep at the go diving show in that you, you I think they're in conversations with others um, so that you can have other dry glove systems. But uh, but yeah, de definitely snazzy, definitely worth checking out. Yeah, dry glove systems and the, the under gloves, there's, there's a fair few out there, but does it have to be specifically scuba under glove technology? Not really. Um, depends on the dive, basically. But yeah, if you have a decent glove that is relatively crush resistant and water resistant as well then yeah it should do pretty well as a uh, as an under glove myself i've used both natural and synthetic fibers i tend to prefer the natural ones just because it's had thousands of years of evolution to to keep those little sheep warm so they should be doing it quite well and those like icelandic sheep definitely know what they're doing but um yeah it doesn't have to be specifically scuba diving so if you do have some like running gloves or something um test them out go on a, a relatively safe dive and uh, and see how well they do see how much dexterity you have and see how numb your hands are after a normal dive um otherwise yeah neoprene gloves as well i've definitely seen a lot of divers rate that because it's that like redundant backup if a little bit of water does find its way into your glove um still works quite well but any other questions pop them down in the comment section underneath this video use this ask mark hashtag to get featured in an up and coming video remember to head over to our website scubadivermag.com check out our magazine our regular publications and all the articles that we run thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving